Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have an Abercrombie try on haul for you. I recently picked up a few cute new spring items and I wanted to share them with you. So I'm gonna style each piece for you and I might style them with items that aren't from Abercrombie, but if anything is still available from the retailer it's from, I will link it below. And as always, I will link all of the Abercrombie pieces I am featuring below. If you are new here, my name is Carrie and I started making fashion and I'm gonna start doing some lifestyle videos um, just new this year and yeah so if you are new please subscribe if you like try on hauls please click the thumbs up I'm gonna do it a little bit differently than my last couple that I've done and I'm just gonna try to show you everything right here instead of going into the mirror um, because I just wanted to switch it up so tell me if you like one better than the other but I'm actually gonna get started with the piece I'm wearing first so this is a nice floral little dress from Abercrombie as you can see it's super lightweight it has a little like tie knot here and the straps are adjustable I'm not wearing a bra with it. I'm just wearing little like little sticky nipple covers and it fits perfectly. I got a size small. It's true to size. Another little added bonus is that it does come with a scrunchie, which made me feel like the 90s vibe. So if you grew up in the 90s, like I did, well, I grew up in the 80s and the 90s, but in middle school, these scrunchies were all the rage. It was like the bigger, the better. So it is kind of cute. You can have it on your wrist. You want to just throw your hair back on a hot summer day you're good to go so as you can see step back far enough here i paired it with just a nice little pair of sneakers so it's just like easy to just go and it doesn't have to be dressed up okay guys so i just want to quickly give you another style option so i feel like when you see a light little floral dress like this the first thing you think is to wear a jean jacket and i generally would think that too and it would look awesome with a jean jacket but i wanted to give you a little bit of a different option so i have this cardigan i think these are called what like the grandmother or grandfather cardigans but it's not like super oversized it's a little shorter fit and it just has a few buttons Ends. Now I bought this, oh my goodness, I bought this from, I believe, Madewell, probably at least a year ago, but I'll see if I can find something similar because how cute is that? It just gives it a totally different look. It almost looks like now I'm just wearing a sweater and a skirt. And while I do live in Florida and it's always hot, it is so cold inside everywhere. Like you go into a store, a restaurant, it doesn't matter, it's cold inside. So even though it could be 90 degrees outside, I don't leave my house without some sort of sweater or jacket because wherever I'm going might be really freezing. So yeah, I just thought this was a cute little option that I wanted to show you guys. For this next outfit, both of these pieces are from Abercrombie. So first, I have this basic tee and I would call this almost like a clay color with like a tad pinkish to it so it's just a basic short uh, short sleeve tee and it comes just knotted in the front which is a cute little look if you just want to do it like there and then I picked up another pair of Abercrombie jeans so these are the super skinny high-rise ankle I bought them in the two short and I do wish that I would have just bought them in the two I have another pair in short so for some reason I thought I would want these in short as well but I think when something is already ankle I need to stick to regular but I've already worn them out so I'm gonna just have to keep them for now and then another option is to unknot the tee and just do a little bit of the front tuck as you can see with these jeans they have the button up fly which I really really like jeans like this I like the look these have a little bit of distressing at the bottom again I just have on my uh, time and true that I wear all the time white sneakers I just love them and yeah so this is just a simple outfit can't beat this for transitioning into spring or then even into spring and summer. okay so I just switched out my tee for this same exact tee but just in a different color so this is a true like tan color and again I just did that little front knot so I 
think this tea comes in maybe five different colors and I just picked up these two, but it's just so perfect and comfy. One thing I would say is I did get these in a medium and I generally wouldn't get shirts in a medium. So if you want to size up, that may be a good idea, but these are just the perfect little tees and they're not a bad price point either. Okay, so I'm wearing the same tee, but I went ahead and switched up my jeans and my shoes just to give you a different look. Now these jeans are gonna look very similar to the last pair, except they don't have the button down fly. So they're still, they're super skinny, high rise ankle. Uh, they just have a little bit of differences. The bottoms are distressed, but they just look different than the other pair. And this is a little bit of a darker wash. And then you can see, I just threw on a pair of my Tory Burch Millers, which if you've watched any of my videos, you've seen that I love them. So I just went back to the front tuck and said it's a little tie knot. And yeah, Abercrombie H jeans tend to stay in stock. Like I don't know that they necessarily discontinue them, but I don't know for sure because I just started wearing their jeans again in the last couple months. But yeah, if you haven't tried them for a while, I would definitely uh, try this pair. I wanted to just throw on this Abercrombie jacket. So I've had this piece for a couple months now and I've shared it in a previous video, but it's still available and it's available in a couple different colors. And I think it's a great piece, honestly, to wear all year round. I could see myself wearing this in the spring or summer with denim shorts. Like, yes, I know it's more of a fall piece of theirs, but it seems like they're gonna keep it in stock and get it in different colors. So I just wanted to share it. It's a quilted, button down jacket if you haven't seen it. I just have the one where it's like two tone with tan. This is a little bit more of a like that quilty material where this is more fuzzy and soft. It has pockets and this I would say is true to size. I got it in a small um, and sometimes I like to size up in jackets but this one is plenty big. Okay, so this next piece I have for you is another floral dress. This dress has a little bit of a flow short sleeve. It does have a pretty deep plunge line, but I did size up in it because they didn't have a small, so this is a medium. I'm contemplating trying to return it and maybe getting a different print because they have different prints, but it comes with the matching scrunchie. It's a nice, good length. It has pockets, which when a dress has pockets, I don't know, it's just a hundred times better. It does have like the stretchy singeing in the back too. I think just to help it fit maybe a little bit better. I went ahead and I just paired it with my uh, Tory Burch Millers again. However, you could do this with sneakers. I think it would really it would be really cute with a nude heel just to dress it up a little bit, but it's just a perfect little dress for spring and summer. Hey guys, so it's actually a couple days later and I ended up receiving another package in the mail from Abercrombie with a couple other pieces, so I figured I would add them on before I posted the video. Also, this weekend Abercrombie is doing a deal where if you spend a certain amount of money, you get a certain amount of money off. So I'm gonna put that um, sale at the bottom of the screen because I can't remember the exact dollar amount. So if you are shopping this video, um, when I first post it, then you might be able to take advantage of that promotion. So the first new piece I have is this dress. It's the same dress as the floral dress I showed earlier. It's just in this dusty pink color. Um, from the back, I still have the tag and the little matching hair tie hanging. And I just have a pair of my uh, Tory Burch Millers on. I'm not sure if I've got it set up where you can see them, but I just have my little camel patent pair on. They kind of just go with everything. So I knew I was going to love this because I already like the floral one. It has the adjustable straps. It has the tie knot in the front and it's just super comfy. And I know I'm going to be wearing this all during spring and summer. Now I'm going to share the last item for real with you this time. So I am sharing these black denim shorts. These are the mom high rise. So they're the four inch mom short high rise and I'm wearing them in a size 26 or two. I like that they're a little bit longer on the butt. They have the slit on the side and then 
don't really think they're too much shorter in the front than the back, um, but they're definitely not a shorty short, which is nice. I just put this tank back on from earlier. Um, you can see they're a little bit in the waist for me, but that's generally how shorts are. If I would get the 25, then they'd be way too tight on my butt. I styled them with these Steve Madden shoes, and I'm, I'll be sure to show you a close-up of them as well. I have these from last year, but they know that they're in stock again or a similar version, and they're such a cute sandal for our spring and summer. And then lastly, I don't think I had shared any jewelry I was wearing, but these Kendra Scott earrings, I received these for Christmas and they're just my go-to when I want a gold hoop. I love them. And so I'll just link them for you as well if you're interested. And that's it. Now I'm going to bring you to the outro that I filmed a couple days ago. <laughs> Bye guys. Okay guys, so that's going to be it for today's video. I know it wasn't a ton of pieces, but I just wanted to get you guys ready and in the mood for spring. I actually have a couple more things coming from Abercrombie and I'll probably be sharing them over on my Instagram. So if you haven't followed me yet, my Instagram is Rose Gold Fashion Blog. I try to do a couple try-ons a week there and I post daily. So come check out my page if you haven't. And if you're enjoying the try-on hauls, let me know what other brands you would like to see and let me know your favorite piece down below uh, from today's haul. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.